Well, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I am your humble host, Spoons Asunder, which I keep forgetting to say in this game for some reason. I don't know why. And also, I got a haircut. So that's neat. So in this episode, I believe I want to build them a bathroom. And I'm thinking here is the best place, because that's right by their barracks. And it's kind of central, and I think that's four, yep, so that should be tall enough, unless they change those buildings. So let's see if I can plan one of those out. Hmm, however, I mean, bathroom, a proper bathroom, anyway, does require a polluted water output. So I'm thinking I might actually have to do this other reservoir as well to do it right. And I'm one for doing things right the first time, so I'll probably do that first, and then I'll put it in the bathroom. So I'm building a pump here to empty this actual good water, so I don't want to just waste that and fill it with the polluted germy water. So I'm hopefully going to be pulling that all over through here and up into the good water receptacle over here. Um, I don't know if there's enough room for it, but I'll take as much as I can and maybe waste a little, maybe dig it through to flood this little area or just, just enough away from this area that I don't have to deal with it. Which, it's already mostly out of the way, so I have a bit of a buffer. It shouldn't be too bad. And they're almost done. And I forgot about power. So it appears that underwater here there is a jug of water that someone just left down there. I have no idea how that happened, but you might want to pick that up and uh, unplug it and empty it back into the water. They also dropped a seed down there for some reason. I don't know what these duplicates are doing. Alright, the water pump appears to be working. It's flowing all the way through there and back out the other side, going into my my actual reservoir here where Trovalo is almost drowning himself so hopefully that doesn't take too long to empty I'll work on planning the bathroom in the meantime and digging this out I got a new duplicate available impress me I actually do have enough food for you now so and of course none of you are impressive at all you're very good at dancing but you have noodle arms and that that that's just not gonna cut it. Reject all. Oh. My new farm has its first harvest and it's looking pretty good for worms on a stick. Enjoy. Oh. There's another hatch here. Great. I got a trap ham too. Stop eating my stuff. That's not cool. I'm just gonna trap you here. I guess. If we can even get over there. Another new duplicate already. Fine. Impress me. They never do. Abe is alright, but he's a slow learner. Which is a bit annoying. I can just tell him to research a bunch to get that up more, but... Eh. Nope. Not good enough. I'm rejecting you all again. I don't actually like to have a lot of duplicates in my colony anyway. Once you have like four or five, that they seem to be able to do everything pretty darn quickly, so... I don't think I really need any more than that. So I'm going to be selective with the last one or two that I select. Also, I'm digging this down because it's taking too long to empty and I want to build this, so... That way I'll have a better, just little temporary reservoir. And I was going to dig this anyway. As far as I know, there's no slime lung there, which is good. So I'm going to move the pump down once they get this all the way down and just let it empty on its own time, which is probably better because I'm running out of space for the water over here. All right, I'm hoping this hatch can jump across from here to here. I, I know they can't climb ladders, but I'm hoping he can jump through it and then get trapped in that door. Go over here. They're not going to do it. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I remove that ladder, he will. I know I could just kill one because I already have four and I probably won't need more than that. Actually, I think I have five. 
I have three in here, one in there, and one up here, so I do have five. I really don't need a sixth one, but I don't want to kill them. I don't want to trap them. Whoa, what? Hypothermia? How'd you get hypothermia when we're in a cold spot? Is any of this cold? It's all in the green. It's temperate. The only cold is the vacuum here, which none of you have been in. I would know. I guess he just got cold from being in the water, even though it's like lovely temperature. Fine. Travaldo, you weakling. Pretty sure that's not how hypothermia looks. Oh well. Everyone turns green when they're sick. Doesn't even matter what kind of sickness. Of course, I'm not sick at all, so I would never turn green. Never, ever, in my life have I been green. So I moved the pump down, and that's working away again. Now I have plenty of room to build here and take this out. And I don't have to worry about a whole polluted water thing falling like the other one. This one's much simpler to do. Of course, poor Travaldo is sick and not going to help very much. It's just going to lay there and make it all slow. What's all this food doing here? Why aren't you harvesting it? Nine. Harvest that. And I don't mean don't. I mean, I don't mean nine. Nine. I mean harvest it. Looks like this pinch of pepper plant, whatever that is, is ready to harvest. And it apparently takes it 88 cycles to get there, and it's only cycle 36. I probably won't see another one ready to harvest, but I'm not going in that hydrogen gas to get it, so it's just going to have to sit there and wither, which is very unfortunate. Maybe I'll get that eventually, and figure out what it's good for. Better be a lot of food if it takes that long to grow. This thing has filled up substantially since then. There's more seeds for those pepper plants. I think they died because it got too hot in here. Is that what happened? It did heat up. You gonna jump across now? Please? No? Why don't you wanna jump? Just jump. Please? Just jump. No, not that way. That hatch is very difficult. I'm pretty sure hatches die in water, so I could just, you know dig this out and let him fall down here and drown, but the only way I'm getting him out is if I keep him high up here and trap him over there. But he doesn't want to jump across that tiny little gap. He's a bit of a coward. They always harvest the food, but they never pick it up. How lazy. Just put it in the little, little it's a ration box. That's what it's for. It's empty. Just pick up the food. Hypothermia is officially gone. Travaldo is cured. And it brought his skills down quite a bit while he was doing that. I'm glad he's cured. I try to keep him fairly even. So everyone can do everything and I don't have to specialize very much. I still don't have anyone to do art. I could train one. But I might as well wait until their learning is a bit higher. This water thing is pretty much full so I'm thinking I might want to stop this pump I'm gonna I'm gonna disable you for now I got a little reserve down there for whenever I need it once this gets lower so I can go through clean water and I have another one down there so clean water is no issue at the moment I know it will be later but I know there are also ways to get clean water like this good old geyser right here, but I don't want to have to deal with cooling it down yet. So, I got a good amount. Alright, Hatch. You're gonna make the jump this time? You can do it! He did it! Fine, no. Go back over there. I know he can do it now. He's just being stubborn. So, it must be like a set amount of tiles that he'll stray from wherever he was buried the night before. And just wasn't quite enough that night. So I kind of just have to wait for him to bury himself somewhere over here. Which he should do because I'm making this shorter and shorter. So eventually he'll go to this door and get trapped. Speaking of which, I should probably lock that. Research is done. I have filtration now. Which will make it so much easier once I actually get a good power setup set up. And that should be next after I figure out the bathroom because... 
I feel like a bathroom is more important. I'm researching medicine next. Just in case anyone catches hypothermia again. Not that there's a medicine for that, but you know, diseases they can at least cure once I have those buildings. I'm a little paranoid about the germs because I haven't really gotten any before and I don't know how they work. So far, they seem pretty clean. The only germy place is this nasty dump spot for all the germy water and the outhouse itself, which of course is going to be germy. So I think I'm doing pretty good with germs. I'm surrounded by slime long though, so it's still a problem. Why did you guys not sweep this? I need all that metal. They never sweep anything. A new duplicant. Are you going to be impressive? Now this Abe is a little more impressive. Unfortunately, he's also flatulent. Which I feel like will be annoying because that means he produces, I believe, a small amount. It used to be polluted oxygen, but I think now it's natural gas. Because it is natural gas that he's producing. Um, so that's unfortunate because everything else about him is amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, I just I just don't want to deal with the flatulence. Sorry, Abe. I'm hoping another one of you comes along without that trait. Just come back when you've gotten over your little problem, and and then I'll then I won't reject you. That's a sad ultimatum to make, and a bit awkward. And of course, the hatch buries himself as far from that little jump as he possibly can, because he's a jerk like that. I hate this hatch. All right, hatch, your time to shine. Now jump over there. Hey, dead end jump. But he did get farther over at least, so I'm gonna dig this out so he can't do it again. Aha! I finally got him. He's trapped forever, or until I deem him worthy of release. Did you just? I think he ate something. What are you eating? I didn't think there was anything there. Fine, you get the last laugh, but you're still trapped. They never sweep the food. How hard can that be? Another duplicant. Are you a better ape? No. I'm waiting for my Abe. I'm sorry, I have to reject you. Joshua just skilled up while using the restroom. Now that is impressive. Hmm, hair's getting a little thin. That's not good. What happened to my algae thing? Oh, I think it's too low priority. We need air. Do that first. I do still have algae, right? Not a lot, but yeah. You duplicants would just run out of air if it wasn't for me. Now it's producing again. You can't have oxygen if you never load the thing. Oh, this horrible bit of germy water, which isn't actually germy water yet, it's just a place for it. It's all dug out, I just need them to sweep the rest of this before I can actually fill it. And I don't know how much it generates now, uh, it wasn't much with, with this setup, but an actual bathroom I'm thinking will generate more. Doesn't matter because I got plenty of fresh for the moment. But I'm going to finish up building the bathroom and then try it out. A new duplicant. Is Abe here? It is Abe. Are you good? You can't build anything. Okay, Abe. I know you can't build anything, but you're very creative. So I think you'll be my artist. And... I, I just really want to take Abe. He's got good learning. He can learn everything else. He just can't build. And there's plenty else for you to do, Abe. You can just stay and be creative. You don't have to build anything. Except sculptures. But that's more destruction than building, I guess. You got that, right, Abe? Okay, hello, Abe. How are you? 
Okay, Abe will be my only researcher for the time being because he needs to learn. He just he just needs to learn. That way he'll, all of the rest of his skills will increase better. I like doing that first. That way that's out of the way and he can just pick up everything else. So much easier. So you just sit there and learn while everyone else builds things. Okay, so I have their little bathroom built. Ignore the hatch that's trapped in there with them. It's just for entertainment, I guess. They don't have magazines or anything to look at, so you can just stare at the monster in the corner. I also left room for ex expansion if I want a second lavatory. So, all I need to do is turn on the water, and they looks like they just did. So, you can see the bumps in the pipe, because pipes should not be doing that. But anyway... The water should be going up there to the bathroom right now, and now they can use it, finally. It's not supposed to be going that way, though. Let me just, just get rid of that little branch. There you go. They finally get the shower. Isn't that nice? And yes, it's already creating horribleness. I probably should block this wall off just because of germs. And with that, my duplicates now have working bathrooms. Well, one lavatory, two showers. Because it evens out. I might put two baths, two lavatories in if that's not enough for him. Abe has a bed already for him because I planned ahead. I'm a schemer like that. Uh, I have this debottler currently transferring the water that was up here into the giant, horrible, germy water receptacle. It's all locked off from the air. Hopefully that'll contain all the germs. Maybe not. A couple of these people are still germy from, uh, from mopping it up, it looks like. They can take a shower, though, and, and it'll be good and disinfect everything. Yeah, there you go. Good, so they're on top of it. They know it's what he just washed it off like he should, like a good little duplicant. My food's growing like it should. It's still not being swept because they're horrible, lazy things. But that's a small price to pay. They're being fed. I'm gonna want to expand it eventually, of course. It doesn't look like this plant is even using water, so maybe that's only the next tier of plants. Uh, worms on a stick, I guess, don't need to be watered. But it's irrigated for whenever I want to move up. So, oh well. I'm being a little too proactive. I do now have an artist, but I'm letting him learn a little first. To get his, his learning skill up before he starts working on art. Um, and then these will finally be painted and these will be carved and I'm thinking of making this little room into a, a med bay once the research is out of the way I probably want to move that so I can expand this a little to make it all symmetrical so I'll be doing that in the next episode you can try to disinfect that but I don't think it'll do much good thanks anyway Trevalu so as Joshua munches away there and uh, feels sick, I guess. What's wrong with you, Joshua? You have soggy feet. You're not sick. Go take a shower. Jeez, Joshua. Nemo was just swimming down there and you don't see her complaining. She has a 1% stress. Be more like Nemo. That's the lesson of the day. Many thanks for watching this episode and until next time. May your spoons remain.